Boom. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today, what I got for you is I'm going to be doing a review of a travel site that I found called Hotel Planner. Now, Hotel Planner's got a couple uh, interesting things that uh, that I really like about it. Um, and so I'm going to show you what those are. So first off, you can basically, um, you know, you come to Hotel Planner, there's a big, um, you know, search box in the beginning um, right here on the screen, and you can type where you want to go. Um, so we'll get to some of these other things uh, a little bit later because there, there's some very unique things about Hotel Planner. Uh, one of the interesting things about the travel industry is, you know, it's very price competitive, right? So you can, you know, if you know how to leverage certain aspects, you can get better prices. So this is the site. Um, you can get up to 77% off um, the, uh, the rates, uh, group hotel rates. And, you know, they cater to specifically to groups, right? So you can use this for traveling solo, but if you're actually doing a conference or you're going to a wedding or you have a business meeting or, you know, you're traveling with your sports team, um, you know, what you'll often have is you want to book a batch of, uh, of rooms, okay? So this allows you to do that, book as a group, and most importantly, pay separately. Uh, so it's, it, it's pretty cool that way. So let me show you how it works. Up here at the top, you're gonna say where it is you're going. So one of my favorite places, Paris, France. Um, let's say we're going for this uh, coming week. And let's say it's just uh, my wife and I, we're going uh, just one and you can select the discounts that you qualify. So we're not a senior, so you know obviously we're not gonna do that. But we do qualify for business traveler because we have business credit cards and uh, CAA up here in Canada, which is AAA uh, down in the States. And you're basically gonna click find hotels, okay? Now, there's a couple things going on here. You can slice and dice this by like, you know, the rating, by the price range, by the amenities, all that stuff, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can also click on these and compare the rates to what's being offered on some of these uh, other sites, which is interesting. But what I like best about this is you can sort it by the landmark, right? So one of the things, um, you know, if you're coming into, you know, a certain particular airport and your conference is by an airport, well, it's easy to, to find something that's close to that uh, air, airport. Uh, but Paris in particular has a lot of, um, you know, different museums and, and things like that. So uh, one of the things that I really like was the, uh, the, the Sacre Coeur, um, because it's up in, in Montmartre, uh, which is personally my favorite area of Paris to stay in. Three miles from the Basilica of the Sacre Coeur. So less than five minutes walking. It is pretty hilly there. Um, I just know that because I've been there. But, you know, and it says, you know, 2.32 miles from, you know, the, the, the center of, of France. So, you can basically just click continue, you know, uh, go through your, your, your booking process, um, you know, look at the, at the different rooms. Typically in France, you know, things will be very, very small, um, you know, particularly in, in places like Montmartre. Uh, but it's got some, some interesting things. So, so that's one of the cool things that I really like about um, Hotel Planner. You can, you can jump to a bunch of, of, of things here. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing I like about it is, you know, it's got this social media and you start to see this more in internet marketing sites where they're actually, you know, giving verified proof of people that have booked, right? So this guy just received a group rate uh, from Sam's Town. And Sam's Town is, you know, of course, the name of the album of, of the killer's second album, um, which is their last great album. Uh, but it's just pretty interesting uh, because you can you can see that. So you can see here we received a long stay discount. Now what is that? What is this group discount? What is this long stay? Uh, the group rate? You know what is this all about? Well, one of the cool things is if you go here, you can basically get group rates for you know sports teams, weddings, meeting, any event, um, and so you basically get the the hotels to bid on your group business, right? So rather than one person coming in, you don't have a lot of leverage coming into a situation like that. You don't have a lot of power. And so, you know, the hotels, basically what they do is 
I guess it's kind of like price fixing. You know, they they you know hold the floor, right? Or if if you play soccer, um, it's like holding the offside line, right? They'll kind of hold the rate, hold the rate, and then you know just like at the at the last minute or something, then they might you know move it or or you know things like that. So they kind of do that. What this does is it basically puts you in the power power seat because you can bid and have the hotels bid on your group business. So this is a way to save up to 70% um, and you get the lowest rate. And what they do is they try to, you know, earn your business, right? So you'd actually fill out the form here. So let's say you're, you're holding a, a conference in uh, Las Vegas and you're holding it from Friday to Sunday, let's say. Um, so we'll pick Monday. Then you get to pick your, your type, right? So is it a bachelorette party? Is it a business meeting? Is it a soccer, uh, soccer trip, you know, sports team? Is it a work crew, right? So oftentimes uh, businesses will, you know, fly in a crew that they trust to do uh, a particular amount of, of work. And I got a friend that, that, uh, that does that sort of thing, um, uh, an electrician for the, uh, for the army. So basically, uh, what you do is you just pick whatever type of, of you know, meeting it is. Uh, let's say there's five rooms. Uh, you can pick this or, or not pick this. Um, and then you fill in your name and your email and you get quotes, right? So you can check instantly online for group rates. But what I would recommend to do is do this. Because then the hotels are going to see, hey, there's you know a group of, of five rooms, right? Or there's like twelve rooms that we're booking that's that's up for grabs, um, you know, and we want to you want to you know compete on that. So that's a really cool thing about that, and you just fill that out, and then they'll actually contact you, help you set up your your event. It's kind of more like a almost like you know they're bending over backwards to kind of earn your business, which is which is great. So you get the best rate and you'll generally get better service, in, in, in my opinion. Um, the other thing is extended stays. So extended stays, you know, if you're staying for 14 plus nights, um, you can get extended stays. So again, you know, um, a lot of people don't know this, but if you, you know, stay there and you book a longer term stay, you know, because there's not going to be turnover in the cleaning and they know they're going to have that, that room booked, they're going to give you discounts. So, you know, again, you can basically say where you want to go. Um, let's just say London, UK and pick your, you know, range and then basically, um, you know, get quotes, right? So it's kind of turning all this aggregate data that the, the travel business has. And what Hotel Planner does is it lets you work that in your favor. So they're kind of competing uh, with you. So it's great for, you know, if you're traveling with like a sports team, I mean, you know, we don't do that for soccer yet. Uh, but a lot of the people that a lot of our friends that are that are serious in into hockey, you know, they're already traveling with their with their uh, with their kids for hockey events, right. Um, so something to, to kind of keep in mind. Last thing I want to show you is a meeting space. And I really like this part of it because, you know, when we put together our first marketing conference, you know, we people pay us, you know, $10,000 to come and attend a weekend conference. Okay. I can tell you it was a tremendous amount of work. We had to work out catering because we had a private party at, at, at our house um, after the, uh, after the, the third day we had uh, to book the rooms. We had to call hotels and kind of find, you know, what space we had to research, what kind of, you know, layout we wanted, um, what kind of food, lunch we we're going to be, you know, uh, providing for the, for the, the, our guests, all that kind of stuff. So the cool thing is, so let's just pick uh, Toronto and we'll just say the event goes from Friday uh, for three days. Okay. And believe me, like the amount of, 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 of time that it took to not only prepare all the content, but to really just deal with the hotels. Um, you know, you really should have hired someone just to handle all that stuff. 
um, you know, when, when we did this for the first time. But the cool thing is you can basically like select your layouts. You can look at all the different layouts um, that, that you have. So you could have more of like a theater presentation. So, you know, your stage, uh, you can do like the boardroom, you can do, you know, a, uh, a reception uh, area, a U shape. Um, so are people around and you're, you're kind of talking on, on a, a whiteboard, that kind of thing. And you can put for how many people it's for. And then, you know, half day rental, full day, evening, uh, just the evening, maybe you're doing a presentation in the evening. Um, so select what you want to do. And then uh, the number of people that are going to be sleeping there, let's say it's uh, eight people. And then, you know, you can basically search spaces, right? And again, what this is going to allow you to do is so here's pulling up some some places and you can see, you know, how many uh, like the Greenwich room can be converted into all these different uh, accommodations, right? So if you're deciding you're having a theater, you know, it can it can hold 80, whereas a Liberty, you know, can only hold 40 and so on and so forth. And here, you know, in the Marriott, a uh, nice hotel downtown, you know, there's certain rooms that are geared towards, you know, basically being a boardroom and, and, and that's about it. Um, so you, you, you'd be able to uh, to pick what kind of what kind of room that, that, that you want. And again, you can have hotels bid um, for your uh, for your event. So that's some really cool things that I like about uh, about Hotel Planner. And, um, you know, again, you're going to get, you know, the, the maximum amount of discounts because it's already pre-built to look for all these discounts that you can use. Uh, so the next time you're doing travel, uh, particularly if you're doing, you know, group hotel rates and you don't want the hassle of, um, of basically locking all the rooms and being on the hook for you for, 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 uh, for them yourselves, but you want to basically be the, the group coordinator. You want to pay the hotel separately. Um, you can work out a, a thing so your room is actually free and, and the cost is split between, you know, the other other people, which I think is fair because if you're, you know, doing that um, – that negotiation, you just don't need to tell them that, you know, you're just using hotel planner to, uh, to, to do all the dirty work for you. Um, but yeah, I mean, the next time you're going on group travel, or you're booking something for a sports team uh, or a business conference or something like that, give it a shot. And, um, you know, I think you'd be pretty, pretty happy with the results and, um, and, and what it can do. And the, the thing that I wanted to, to point out too is, you know, when you're, you know, doing a um, doing a destination. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but the landmark is really the way to go uh, because you can basically find what it is that, that you want to look at and you know be close to, and it'll it'll do that by proximity, right? Um, so you know, less than two minutes from. Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, right? So if you if you that's something that you really want to do, it's really easy to find where it is, and it shows you how how much of a distance it, it is from uh, from some of these things. So I think that's really cool as well. Anyhow, give it a shot. Uh, let me know what uh, where you're going next, and what you think of uh, of Hotel Planner um, for your next uh, for your next travel plans. All right, that's it. We'll see you in the next video, guys.